Cave Crasher back with a new video and ladies and gentlemen we have something incredibly special to commemorate the spookiest day of the year Halloween in this video we'll be going over my top five favorite ghost type Pokemon keep in mind with a list like this is built off of my own opinions as I will be talking about their designs as well as other details about them that I enjoy so with that being said, tell me your favorite ghost type Pokemon in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get started. So starting things off at number 5, we have ourselves the OG ghost Pokemon of Generation 1, Gengar. This Pokemon made a spooky and comical first impression during the Pokemon anime episode, The Tower of Terror, where it featured the debut of Ghastly Haunter and Gengar. Gengar not only has a mischievous and spooky design, but also really amazing stats. Being a ghost and poison type Pokemon, Gengar and its pre-evolution still stand as the only family to boast this unique typing. In Generation 6, we were introduced to Mega Gengar, which allowed for it to gain an even more terrifying and sinister appearance as well as more power. Its shiny form in its Mega Evolution is what base form shiny Gengar wishes it could be. Please Game Freak. Fix this as regular Gengar's shiny form is rather lacking. In Generation 8, it may have lost its Mega Form, but gained access to a Gigantamax form, which makes it loads scarier, kind of like a real live living haunted house. Spooky! Coming in the number 4 spot is going to be Bayonet. This Pokemon was introduced in Generation 3, and while it may not be remembered as an overpowered Pokemon, it still has a lot of aspects about it that give it a very spooky feel. It is a pure ghost type, and its design is also very creepy. While its stats aren't all that impressive, the reason it's one of my favorites is due to its Mega Evolution and its lore. In Generation 6, it would gain access to Mega Evolution, and Mega Bayonet would gain some very impressive stats, mostly in its attack stat, making it more usable offensively, and it also gained the Prankster ability, making its status moves have priority, which is fitting for a rather sinister looking Pokemon like Bayonet. The backstory of Bayonet highlights how it came to life as a Pokemon after being discarded as an old plush doll by the child that once owned it, and now Bayonet seeks that child out that once threw it away. Having a backstory like that just puts into perspective how Bayonet came to existence and the kind of Pokemon it truly is. Its reason for living is built off a grudge. That's pretty dark. That's what makes Bayonet a standout choice here. Up next at number 3, we have Aegislash. When this Pokemon was introduced in Generation 6, this was an instant hit for me. Everything about this Pokemon was super, super cool. Its design, typing, stats, moves, and more. Aegislash is a Ghost Steel type Pokemon, making its evolution line the first of its kind to have this unique typing. With so many resistances and immunities granted, this Pokemon shot way up in terms of competitive usage. It was deemed so good by Smogon OU that it was actually banned to Ubers. That should be a testament as to how good it truly is in battle. The stats flip around depending on which form it is in, so it effectively works with a much higher base stat total than its initial 500. That is pretty busted for a non-legendary Pokemon. Its signature move, King's Shield, grants it the ability to swap into shield form and protect itself from oncoming attacks, and should the opponent make contact, their attack stat drops. While it may have had its stats and King Shield nerfed, it is undeniable as to how good Aegislash is competitively speaking even to this very day. Coming in the number 2 spot is none other than Gorgeist. This Pokemon is the embodiment of Halloween and I love it. Halloween being one of my all time favorite times of the year, this Pokemon is a standout to me for that reason alone. 
with its design as a jack-o'-lantern as well as its ghost grass typing this pokemon is truly unique and quite a fun design its stats and moves also give it some decent strategies in battle this pokemon can be quite a defensive tank soaking up hits while wearing down opponents with status conditions as well as leech seed what makes this pokemon special is how it comes in different sizes just like in pumpkins in real life and its stat changes depending on its size as well which is truly awesome while this pokemon may not be the best in battle or even the most recognized this pokemon has always had a special place in my heart as not only a favorite ghost pokemon of mine but also a reminder of halloween as well and now ladies and gentlemen in the number one spot is giratina allow me to introduce the most badass ghost pokemon in existence when this pokemon was introduced in generation 4 this was a pokemon i had a huge interest in I first came across it when I watched Maryland's old playthroughs of Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and when I saw that Pokemon for the first time, this became one of my all-time favorites just from its design alone. Now, I didn't know too much about stats and all that competitive nonsense way back then, but when I learned more about it, the love for Giratina grew. Giratina having huge stats, making it super defensive, on top of it having a truly terrifying appearance and awesome Ghost Dragon typing is what makes this Pokemon truly great. What makes this Pokemon even better is it having an alternate form called Origin Form, which makes Giratina take on a more serpentine appearance and be more offensive in battle. Also, its Pokedex entries give it a more evil vibe to it as it was actually banished from the Pokemon world for its violence and given how much of a brute Giratina is, one can only imagine the amount of chaos it was capable of generating. Another standout for me was its appearance in the movie Giratina and the Sky Warrior where it gave us a different look at Giratina. Giratina may come off as evil in lore in terms of Pokedex entries, but in the movie it seemed to not be antagonistic, which gives it an extra layer of intrigue to it. Overall, this Pokemon absolutely nailed it for me, making it still my favorite Ghost-type Pokemon even after over a decade since its introduction. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be the conclusion of this Top 5 video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly guys, smash it up in the comments down below because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will, that ain't ever gonna change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night depending on your time zone. And as always, ya boy, we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and one more thing, Crash Community. Happy Halloween! <laughs>